Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I, of course, am Mr. Clark Griswold. If you are a first-timer here today, then welcome. Glad you're here. Appreciate all my followers, old and new, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the bell button. That bell will give you the notifications for when I send out the daily setup videos just like this one, okay? I also send out send out weekly swing plays, monthly swing plays, informational videos, motivational videos, learning tools, a bunch of other things. I put out the same kind of stuff on Twitter. You can follow me there at Mr. Clark Griswold. Okay, guys. One day setups, daily setups for Monday, March 14th. We are ready to get at it. I'm excited for next week. Ready to be in the green again. Okay, so let's get her started with Starbucks S B U X Starbucks. We have an outside bar, okay? So and guys, I explain all of this stuff every time because some people are watching these videos for the first time, and I just want to make sure that they have all the information that they need in order to trade these correctly, okay? So an outside bar basically breaks the high and the low of the previous candle, okay? And it doesn't matter if we're on a a daily chart or a hourly chart or a 15 minute chart or a one second chart okay an outside bar is an outside bar they all work the same okay so currently we have showing full time frame continuity to the downside we obviously don't know what the day and the week are going to be because this is a friday friday's day uh time frame and this is last week's time frame so these could very well go green next week um We'll have to wait for the opening, but currently we're we are showing full time frame right across the board is all down to the red. Now, if you're looking for this indicator, you can go into time frame content or into your in indicators and type in time frame continuity and look for board rider B. Okay, that's the one I use to to follow this stuff. Okay, so we put our triggers at the tops and the bottoms of the outside bar wicks. Okay, so we would get into this play on an option play or common shares. It doesn't matter. I play options. But we would get into this option play once we trigger 88.84. And we're taking the next closest expiry and we are taking the closest strike. Okay, so for example, for this one, it might be 88. You could take 88.50 or you could take uh, 89. Okay. I don't even know if 88.50 is an option. It might just be 88. But in this case, if I was taking this to the upside, I would take 89. Okay, and the put, you're just looking at the exact opposite. Okay, so you're either taking 82 or 81 on this for the strike price and the expiry. Again, the, the closest expiry is, is how I play it. Okay, so when we take this outside bar and now we're looking for targets, where do our targets go? Well, our targets go to the preceding wicks. So this obviously can't be a target to the high side, and this can't be a target um, because we are below the top of this wick. So we go to here, and I'm just going to change that to green for you guys. So that would be our first target, okay? Second target up here. And again, guys, we don't always hit these targets. So if you're trading these with one contract, um, and you're into that 10 plus percent range, 5%, I don't mind if you're taking profits on a small account and and, and taking those gains on these, okay? Um, so those would be your targets for the high side. The targets for the low side, well, we'll have to go back quite a ways. Now. I don't even know how far back that this thing is going to have to run. I don't know. I think these might be. There we go. We have to come all, all the way back to here to find our our targets for so we'd be looking here okay there you go and that is your first target 
for Starbucks. And we'll just bring this back. There you go. And you can do that so on and so forth down the line. You can add them as you go. Okay, next one on the list. So now we can run through these a little bit quicker now that we kind of have that set up. This is a... So it's another way to play these on a reversal, okay? So we had a two up that finished red, okay? So we will look for triggers on the reversal at 137.95. And a two bar basically just means we only crossed one side of the previous candle. So this one, we broke the high. If we go down here, we broke the low. So this will be a two down. But if you notice on, on this one, it was a two down that finished green. So I would have been looking for a reversal on Moderna with this with the target or with the trigger here and we we definitely made that happen here so we'll be looking for the same thing to happen here but to the downside okay so we had a two up that finished red we also have this what we would call a shooter candle okay so a shooter candle is like uh, a putter or a hockey stick type of thing and it's just showing it's a it's a bearish pattern okay so We'll take the triggers here, targets again at the preceding wicks. And we have a bunch of these to go through, so I'm going to start ripping through here. So this is a 3-1 setup pattern, outside bar, inside bar. It's a powerful pattern. I, there's a bunch of them on the two-day charts. And if we go back in time to look, you can see here, uh, that finished as an inside bar. So we have one here outside bar inside bar and this thing just dropped it caved okay so these are if you can see this white outside bar this inside bar and then we just caved okay so those are powerful powerful setups or powerful patterns okay so when we have that 3-1 setup it's something that we really really want to watch and and look for a play on okay so we can take calls at 1801 puts at $17.18 DIS is Disney, another outside bar, so we can take uh, calls at 136.16, puts at 131.15. LYFT is Lift, again, two up that finished red, so we can take uh, triggers at $37.18. Um, I did have somebody ask me to write these in the description, but I will just leave them on the side here for you guys to look and go through. And I always suggest to take a piece of paper and a pen, and you can jot these down as we go through them and then kind of go through them yourselves and see which ones you guys would like to play. So EW, Edwards Life Sciences, uh, outside bar, calls at 106.98, puts at 103.37. This tells me that probability, plus this being a, uh, a red outside bar, tells me probabilities of this going down are, are higher, okay? And, and that's all we do here, guys. We play probabilities, and it's nothing more than that. If anybody has a trading strategy out there and they tell you it works 100% of the time, they're lying to you, okay? There's no strategy that will work 100% of the time because the stock market is unpredictable. But what we can do is play high probability plays, okay? And keep our stop losses tight. And high probability plays will get us consistent gains and make us become a successful trader, okay? And that's all we're looking for is to become consistent and successful traders that's what all of us want okay so that's why we play probabilities here and all we're playing is price action this is the easiest strategy you guys will ever ever use okay there's no we don't have to draw uh you know there's no rsis there's no macd's you don't need to draw any any lines okay there's no lines we're playing what the candlesticks are giving us the candlestick here tells us we had a two up that finished red so it's giving us a trigger here, okay, at 316.17, and then it's giving us targets. And then again, if we look at this one, this target, to give you guys an example, being down here, this is a pretty big spread between 316 and 318. Okay, so what we can do is go back to the hourly time frame, and we can take out these other targets, these other pivots. Some people call it magnitude but we can tuck those in there as well as targets. And basically what these are, are the stop losses for the bulls, okay? So this is where they've got their stop losses set and we are taking them out is what we are doing. Okay, so trigger, target, 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 okay? And those are all the places that you are able to take targets on, okay? 
Next up, LOW Lowe's. Again, two up to finish red, shooter candle. So we'll look for triggers at 221.91, okay? Ford is ticker symbol F. Again, we have a nice full time frame down here, but again, this week and this day might change to green next week. We will see what happens, but currently they are all red, so we will look for triggers at $16.01. Airbnb, Airbnb is up next. Same kind of setup. And again, our target here is, is quite, uh, quite small, so this isn't a high probability trade, but we'll leave it in here anyways. And the other thing I would caution you guys against is... Uh, looking at your spreads between the bid and the ask. If we're looking at more than a 5% spread between the bid and the ask, that's why I like trading SPY, uh, Lucid, AMD, NEO. This, the split between the bid and the ask is like pennies, okay? So we're not dealing with a, a high discrepancy in, dif in, in, uh, in price or percentage. So when we're looking at a couple pennies and we take it for market value, we're getting in the trade quickly. Otherwise, if you have that 10% spread, you can try and buffer it with a limit order and trying to get somewhere in the middle between the bid and the ask, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get filled. Okay, so I try and stay away from from stocks that are have a wide uh, spread between the bid and the ask. So that's just one more tip for you guys. Um, and guys, the other thing is there's guys charging hundreds and thousands of dollars for this information. I you don't need to pay it, okay? It's free. This is all free information and it should be free for everybody, okay? And that's why I do this. You don't need to pay for this simple information and these simple strategies that are making other people money, okay? Uh, so BAC, I'm gonna tell you one other thing here, but BAC, inside bar, triggers calls at 41.38, puts at $40.29. The other thing I was gonna tell you is don't concentrate so much on the dollar value of the gains that you're making on these trades. Because if you have a small account and you're making $20 on a trade, it doesn't seem like a lot. But if you're focusing on the percentages at 10%, 20%, well, then you start realizing that you're making gains by percentages, not by dollar value. So a lot of times it's misleading when you see these other traders on Twitter showing you these $1,000, $10,000, uh, you know, these five-figure gains, these six-figure gains in a day they have large accounts okay so they're not making thousands of percent in a day they're doing the 10 15 20 percent a day they just have larger accounts for the most part anyways okay so don't get discouraged by those by those numbers um concentrate on your percentages okay so you want to take those 10 20 15 30 base hits and guys i'll always tell you this 10 percent a day over five days is 50 percent over a month it's 200 percent okay and as your account grows, you can use a little bit more capital to put into your trades and those percentages lead to bigger dollar values. But let's concentrate on the base hits and, and making money that way, okay? So CRM, again, this isn't a high, it's a high probability trade, but the targets are, are so shallow that I'm concerned about actually going into this trade, but we'll leave it on the list. GS is Goldman Sachs, same thing, two up that finish red. We have a little bit more space here to make a good trade, okay? That's Goldman Sachs GS. Robinhood, HOOD, this big gigantic outside bar, so we can look for calls at 1246, puts at 1101. JP Morgan, outside bar, calls at 134.02, puts at 128.42. KDP is Keurig Dr. Pepper, this nice 3-1 setup again. Um, so this is one we can actually look at for tomorrow for a, a good play. Uh, calls at 37.74, puts at 36.75 on Keurig Dr. Pepper. Okay, MasterCard, ticker symbol MA, a 2-up that finished red, so we can take uh, triggers at 323.81 for the puts. MGM Grand, same thing, two up to finish red, full time frame here currently that's pointing downwards and $40.02. And guys, I, I have a bunch of other videos this week. I have weekly swing trades, a two week swing trade, and a two day chart trader, okay? So check those out as well. MNST, Monster Energy has an outside bar, calls at 76.52, puts at 73.08. MS is Morgan Stanley, nice inside bar on Morgan Stanley, calls at 8775, 8508 for puts, 
Mr. Softy, that's Microsoft, has an outside bar, calls at 289.44, puts at 279.43. NKE, Nike, is another one I like to trade often, calls at 127.88, puts at 122.51, time frame to the downside. NVIDIA, NVDA, two up that finished red. You notice the time frame again, 220.45 for the puts. Big, big outside bar on Oracle. Okay, so calls at 79.89, puts at 73.99. I would not be surprised if we stay inside bar on this thing on Monday. Okay, Palantir, PLTR, a two down, two up that finished red. Now, this is also called a rev strat where we have an inside bar. It goes up in one direction, and uh, sometimes it tends to go down in the opposite direction, or up or down in the opposite direction. So here's an example. Inside bar, we take it to the downside, and the following day we're back up. Okay, so that's called a rev strat. It's just another type of a reversal when we're dealing with the strat, which is short for the strategy. QQQ has an outside bar. Calls at 334.61, puts at 323.90. SQ is square. Block Inc. Outside bar, 110.68 for calls, 101.70 for puts. TGT is target. Outside bar on target, calls 216.30, puts at 206.80. These here are our weekly, weekly swings. I'll just show you where we are at with those. So on the weekly, we have an inside bar, okay? So our weekly and our daily both basically have the same trigger. And if this goes day, it goes, if this hits the daily trigger to the downside, we also hit the weekly trigger on the downside. And we could be looking at around 195.96 for the downside on the week. And if you're taking the day trade, well, again, your target's in the exact same spot, okay? I don't think we hit that on the day trade, so you have to go to the hourly, like I showed you previously, to get those targets on the day if you're not playing the swings, okay? <clears throat> Rev strat on Visa, so we can take puts at 196.27. IWM, Russell 2000 ETF, outside bar, calls at 201.70, puts at 196.44. Cisco Systems, ticker symbol CSCO, Again, two up that finished red, so we can take puts at 54.61 on Cisco. XEL, that's XL Energy. Again, Rev Strat, two up that finished red. Uh, so we can take puts at 69.96, and there you can see our weekly trigger in the pink. And then AAL is American Airlines, and we have, again, a two up that finished red. So we can look for puts on American Airlines at $13.87. AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, Inside Bar. This one is a good one to play on the 30 in 30. If you look up in the top right, you can click on that link, and we can show you how to make profits on a 30-minute on a chart, 30% 30 in 30 minutes, okay? So take a look at that video. Uh, but triggers for AMD on this inside bar, 108.26 for the calls and 104.02 for the puts. CL is Colgate Palmolive, inside bar, calls 75.18, puts 73.77. IBM, two up that finished red, so puts at 123.88. And guys, again, these are not 100% deals, okay? It's not... It's not Probabilities are not 100% on this. We play probabilities because of what we're given, okay? But they don't always work out. So keep your stop losses tight, but um, just remember that these aren't 100% accuracy trades, okay? And no strategy, like I said, ever will be. It's, it's purely probabilities. And if you can hide, find a high probability strategy, then you will be golden and you're in the money. And if you're watching this video, or any of my videos, then you found those strategies you're looking for. Okay, PayPal, outside bar, calls at 99.91, puts at 95.52. SPCA, E Space, that's Virgin Galactic, it's Richard Branson Company, outside bar, 773 calls, 727 puts. Uber, Uber, two up to finish red, so we look for puts at 30.38. Walmart, WMT, Shooter Candle, 
uh, two up that finished red. So puts at 144.88 on Walmart. Chewy, C-H-W-I, nice little tight inside bar here. And the tighter these inside bars are, the better. Okay, so time frame currently to the downside, but we'll take calls at 40.06 and puts at 38.30 on Chewy. DWAC is a Donald Trump stock, a nice little tight inside bar again on DWAC. Calls at 73.19, puts 68.60 on DWAC. CVX Chevron Corporation, this is the opposite of a two up. That finished red we have now a two down that finishes green the time frame looks great here and calls at 172.88 on cvx slb this is a nice nice setup so we have a two-day consolidation on slb two inside bars so this thing has been coiling and getting ready to explode for the last two days okay and the time frame looks good it's green 4370 calls which are probable 4244 we'd be looking for puts okay alcoa corporation inside bar calls at 8187 puts at 7865 xop that's the spider s p oil and gas okay so two up that finished red puts at 125.68 on xop wfc as well as fargo two down two up that finished red puts at 4843 CMCSA, <clears throat> two up that finished red, but our, our, our targets are quite tight here. So this is not uh, a great trade to take on, on CMCSA, which is Comcast Corp. So I wouldn't be looking at that one very tightly. SE is C Limited, two up that finished red. Time frame looks good to the downside. Puts at $90.41. Guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed your one-day setups. I usually put out uh, top three. I won't be doing that for Monday. We'll continue that on Tuesday just because I have these weekly setups, the two-day charts, the two-week charts coming out. Um, it's a lot of videos for me to do, and, and I still have a family that I love and need to spend time with. So we won't be putting those out on Monday. Those will be out on Tuesday again. Um, good luck, guys, on the day trades. Look for our swing trades as well, two-day setups and two-week swing setups uh, as well okay so until next time guys bye bye